Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I've seen, and I don't care who don't agree, it just lets me know where you stand on the mental chart. I saw the most unhinged rally get together, whatever you call what Donald Trump did and what is it? Uh, Hialeah, Florida with Roseanne Barr and I, it was the most unhinged spectacle I've ever ever witnessed in all my years being on the planet earth and it was the most uncouth behavior from somebody that so called wanted to be president and if y'all want to roll like this, why don't y'all just put some thugs up, some real thugs, you know, don't have to put the ones up they got on the suit. You know, just put some up there and let's see how repulsed y'all get if the color is brown. That acts as freaking crazy as this dude. And mainstream media is, is a joke for not calling this out. Mainstream media is part of the problem. In fact, they are the crown. The propaganda arm of the, proud, of the crown to keep this craziness going. Donald Trump needs to be in somebody's sane asylum. As a matter of fact, y'all know I used to work in the mental health field, and I worked in mental health facilities, three of them to be exact. And I don't see any. Any difference in the behavior of Donald Trump and somebody who has been clinically diagnosed as paranoid, a psychopath, a nutcase, a classic malignant narcissist, all of those things, when they own a continuum or on a scale that goes real high, that shit got to get you in the lockdown. Donald Trump is the perfect candidate for somebody that need to be locked out. What is it? Because he wear a damn suit? That y'all white people accept this crazy shit? And for the black people, y'all just perpetually miserable. Any fool that's African American that would vote for somebody like this, you, you part of the problem just as well. Because no sane and rational person would want to ever see Donald Trump anywhere near any kind of position of authority, starting with me. And if you want him in some kind of position of authority, then you must be a nutcase too, or you just hell-bent on destruction, because there's a lot of y'all out there too, little demons, that want to see America just go down in flames. And I can't blame you if you do, because when you start with madness... When you build a country off thievery, murder, killing, and all the other things that are negative, rape. But when you start a country with these kind of social psychopaths, what do you think the end's going to be? What they used to say back in church, I, uh, I believe I'll run on. See what the end's going to be. I'm on run on. See what the end's going to be. Believe I'll run on. See what the end's going to be. <laughs> this 
sucker is going up in flames. You know, and I don't know. The sad part is that the American people is just a cesspool of human pigs. That the the standard of a being a human being, of being kind to your neighbor, of being watchful for your neighbor, is trying to get along with your neighbor. All those things seem to be things of the past, and this man then ushered in the most rude, vile, disrespectful, insane group of people. Roseanne Barr, that crazy bitch, and you saw her. You saw her. And y'all like that kind of shit. And that's presidential to you. Uh, listen, I'm going to go. And all I can say is, God bless America. <laughs> God bless America. I don't know. That's just my opinion, my rant. Tell me what y'all think. You like what you hear? Subscribe and share my channel. I'll see you in the next video.